friends, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So I have seen my, my friend Lisa, my bestie, if you will, uh, do this video several times on her channel. Um, if you're not following Lisa Roberry, you should. She's amazing. I love her. <laughs> she is my Scentsy consultant. Um, she is actually the one who got me into this Scentsy world and I love her for it. But she does these periodic videos where she takes you through what she currently has in her Scentsy Club, and I was like, that's a good idea. I think I've done one of these, one or two of these before, but like just never did it again. Uh, but I recently decided to edit my club a little bit, so I thought I'd take you through what I currently have in it, let you know what I took out and why and just kind of share like my philosophy on my club. I know that people utilize the Sensi Club option for, you know, a few different reasons. Some people just purchase Sensi like with the items that are in their club. Some people do a mix of getting their club orders and then filling in with things from the current catalog. Some people don't have a club at all cuz they're like whatever comes back comes back. <laughs> um I have some things that I have fallen in love with from Scentsy and I love that I can just plop them in here and while I don't do large quantities the way that some people do, um, I do have a decent backstash of a lot of these so when I get these orders quarterly it's kind of nice because I can just, um, you know, sort of replenish maybe what I've used over the course of the last three months so my stash kind of roughly stays around the same number although I will say a few things are starting to dwindle um, so it is what it is it's fine <laughs> I can fill in with uh, things from the catalog so all right so obviously I opt for the quarterly or every three month delivery of my subscription I try to keep it reasonable my goal is to never go over 15 items in my club. I am currently at 12 items. So I, to me, that is still quite reasonable. Again, it only comes every three months. Um, and then, yeah, I pay $8 in shipping. I will say Sensi's shipping is definitely a little spendy. You do get a slight discount on the club because most regular orders from Sensi have a like $10 shipping fee, essentially, for most orders. Um, if you shop with Scentsy, you kind of know how it works. But yeah, their shipping, well, it is a little high. And I kind of wish, I kind of wish that if you did something like Club, at, which obviously shows your dedication to the brand, if they would maybe like waive the shipping. I know Scentsy is, they're a very successful company. I feel like they could afford to do that. But, you know, <laughs> I don't work there. So I don't make these decisions. Okay. Um, Stroopwafel Delight. Um, anytime that you see this little, like, doodad over here, that means that that bar is not currently available, and if you, if I were to, like, ooh, I would never, but if I were to hit this little button over here to take it out of my club, um, that would mean that if I changed my mind the next day, I could not come back and reinsert Stroopwafel Delight into my club because it's not currently available. If it comes back in a bring back my bar or they decide to just bring it out of the vault, maybe with like the fall releases this coming year or something, then you know I can certainly up my quantity again. But as of right now, I am stuck with only one bar and I do not have any options to select more because you can't, like I can't, I'd like to add more, but I cannot. So. That's a little bit of a bummer. Sometimes I wish that they would give you the option to do that, you know, because you might change your mind. Like, I understand once you take it out, no more. <laughs> but if you're looking to increase, I feel like they should do that. But again, not my company. All right. So, um, Stroopwafel Delight. Love this one. If you have ever had a Stroopwafel, you know that it is caramel, like a thin layer of caramel, very thin. That's the key. Um, sandwiched between two essential, again, thin waffle type cookies, if you will. So good. The best way to eat a Stroop waffle is to get your cup of coffee ready in the morning. Um, unwrap your little Stroop waffle or get it out of the big bag, however you buy it. 
Um, I like to buy it at Costco during the holidays. So if you see the tin, pick it up. <laughs> but you put your Stroop waffle, you set it basically over your, your steaming hot cup of coffee and it kind of melts that caramel and then you can eat that Stroop waffle as you are sipping your morning cup of coffee. Is it good for your blood sugar? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably going to make it spike, but it is what it is. It is my favorite way to eat a Stroop waffle. So this smells exactly like the real thing. There's no way I'm ever getting rid of this. I'm a little miffed that I only have one in here. So there's that. Happy birthday. Now this one I used to have three of, and then I made the mistake of going down to two. Now it was brought up in the voting for the Bring Back My Bar for this coming summer. I hope that it came through again. I voted many times because I really do wish that I would have stayed at three with Happy Birthday. This essentially smells like Funfetti birthday cake, and if you've never smelled it, you are missing out. Plus, this is like a rock star performer for a fragrance like this. It is really strong. It has good projection. It just is, it's an, it's an absolute delight. I love it. Okay, here's another one where I, I used to have three and I went down to two and it was an instant regret because boy, do I love almond croissant. Um, are you noticing a trend here? I am apparently a very hungry person. These all smell like food. This smells like a legit almond croissant. It smells like there is a really nice, like high quality almond paste that was sandwiched in between some of the layers of the butter and dough before they baked the croissant. It's perfection, you guys. It is super authentic. It's another really great performer for me. And I do not understand why this scent did not come back. I refuse to believe that people did not like it. If you are someone that did not like this, I don't know that we could be friends. <laughs> I love that scent. Okay, apples and oats. Oh, this one's so good. This basically smells like, just imagine being on a like wellness retreat at a really beautiful spa, like in some desert or something. And in the morning you go to your breakfast and they serve you these really beautiful like steel cut oats that were, I don't know, marinating overnight or whatever. Um, and they cut in like some fresh apples and just like, you get like that touch of like cinnamon in there. So good. This is such a great scent. Again, what I think Scentsy does really well with a lot of these gourmand scents is they smell very, very authentic. And this is another one where you can smell the oats, you can smell the apples. It just smells like you are making something in your house. It's another one where I wish I had at least another one, but maybe if it comes back, I would definitely consider adding it in. Now, there's a few here that you see that do not have this little, um, you know, this wax bar is discontinued type of situation. Um, Graham Cracker Crunch luckily came back in the catalog this fall, so you can actually still get Graham Cracker Crunch. I still have it in my club because I love it. It smells like a honey-made Graham Cracker with a schmear of um, peanut butter. Like you've got that nice, sweet, salty balance in this one, and it is yummy. It's another one where it is delicious on its own, but I can warm this one with any of these other scents and like all delicious. These all pair so nicely together. And while like normally scents like this that have a touch of cinnamon in them, I would not melt like outside of the fall. This is one where I would totally like year round. All of these gourmands here so far, year round for me. Now this one here, this, we're coming to the additions from the latest Bring Back My Bar. Clearly, I have found some favorites. Um, cranberry muffin, ooh. So I have not even warmed, <laughs> I have not warmed my cranberry muffin yet. 
and I am not going to necessarily warm through like an entire clamshell of it. I want to try it just to make sure that it performs well. It smells like it's going to. It's it's quite strong just when you smell it in the clamshell. But this is a heavenly combination of a cranberry with a like gourmand muffin or cake type scent. Oh, it's good. She's really good, you guys. And if you are at all on the fence about um, possibly putting this in your club before the end of Bring Back My Bar. I would say just put it in there just in case. I mean, at least give yourself the out. You certainly have time. Sensi does warn you, by the way, if you've never done club, they do send you a warning when your order is getting ready to ship and they say, hey, this is like your last week or whatever to make changes to your club. Otherwise, it is going to ship, um, you know, with whatever format you currently have going on in there. So they do give you warning. Crumb top. Crumb top is so good, you guys. It really does smell like a streusel topping. And um, this one performed really, really well for me. Now I did hear some people say that crumb top does not perform well for them. For me, I also expect it to put vanilla cream in here, but vanilla cream didn't perform for me at all. In fact, I almost got nothing from it. And for me, even if the scent smells really good in the clamshell, if I cannot smell it when I'm actually warming it, then I, I'm not gonna like put it in my club. This one is lovely. And this is a great mixer. Oftentimes I will do, um, I will mix happy birthday with a lot of different scents. Like I would mix a cube of happy birthday with this. I would mix a cube with the almond croissant, the apples and oats. The Graham Cracker Crunch. I would mix Happy Birthday with Cranberry Muffin and it would be delightful. I love to do that. But I think for me, another really great mixer is gonna become this crumb top and I'm excited. I, I need this to be a regular staple for me. Would love this one in a brick. Wouldn't that be great? Heck, let's put all of these in a brick. <laughs> I would buy it. Okay, so... I have the hazelnut latte in here as well. Oh, hold please. Let me turn that off. Hazelnut latte is delicious. It smells, um, it has that nuttiness to it and it has a coffee with a lot of cream. Like the coffee in here isn't super strong, I will say. But this actually, if you mix a cube of, oh my God, sorry about the dog. If you mix a cube of Perk Me Up, with the hazelnut, ooh, try that if you have not, that's great. But anyway, I think that I like the hazelnut latte more than I like the perk me up, although I do have one last bring back my bar order coming. Um, I did an additional three six packs and I did put a few more of the perk me up in there and some more of the hazelnut as well. I just, I really like this scent a lot. And then, hey, Alf, come here, simmer down. <laughs> Um, he knows the ring camera jingle and he thinks that someone's here to visit him. So the, um, when you reach a certain point with your club in terms of, you know, money, <laughs> they do allow you to get a 50% off item. Now, normally I get a brick, but I'm not really interested in getting bricks of any of the scents that are currently available. I also have the experience personally that most of the bricks that I get as part of my club, those bricks are, I feel like they're almost secondhand. They do not last as long as the regular Scentsy bars do for me. So I don't know. Not a big fan of those. Every once in a while, I'll still pop one in. I mean, they're twelve. They're like, what are they? Twelve fifty if you get that as your half price item. So even if your cubes of wax only last a day, it's probably still a worthwhile addition. But this time around, I was like, no, I'd rather probably have another hazelnut latte Scentsy bar. So I just popped one of those in, and it brought it down to three dollars. Not getting like maximum savings here, but anyway, that's my half price item. And um, there you go. That's what's currently in my club. Pretty pleased with all of this. I certainly am, um, I am still well within 
the amount that I'm looking to stay within and I will not exceed that. <laughs> not if I also intend on wanting to purchase from the regular catalog, which I do multiple times a season. Um, I usually share my hauls with you guys. Sometimes I don't, but a lot of times I do. So I feel like this is a fair amount for me and um, having it come quarterly, I think kind of works well. So yeah, there you go. That's what's in my club. Let me know down below what your top three cents are in your Scentsy Club? Like, what are the things that you would absolutely never let go of? Oh, by the way, you will notice what's missing from here. So just really quickly, I took out Sandalwood Tangerine. I just, I have like six of them right now, and I feel like that's enough. Um, it was a great scent. I will probably regret taking that out at some point, but not right now. I also took out the Sanderson sisters. So those are the two that I most recently removed um, so that I could kind of stay within my range. Um, the Sanderson sisters, I have several bars of that still, and I feel like I have enough for this coming Halloween fall season. And um, I think by that point, I might be kind of like over the fragrance anyway. So yeah, anyway. Just wasn't special enough after all this stuff came out to keep in. So anyway, almost forgot about that. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, again, let me know down below the top three that you would never, ever let go of in your club. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your afternoon and subscribe if you're new. Toodaloo.